Welcome back to the deep dive. Today, we are uh, looking deep into the Milky Way at a spot where, well, physics seems to be on a bit of a break. Our sources are buzzing about this cosmic signal NASA picked up. Yeah. And it stumped everyone. It really has. It's one of those detections that makes you double check everything. Totally. So picture this, a radio pulse from deep space. But the thing is, it's ticking like a clock. Uh-huh. Almost mechanical. Exactly. It repeats precisely, exactly, every 22 minutes, and nothing we know behaves like that naturally. Nothing. So our mission today is to sort of lay out this bizarre puzzle for you. We're going to unpack what they actually detected, yeah. why that 22-minute timing is such a headache for scientists. Today, a big headache. And then explore the really mind-bending possibilities. Are we talking about a dying star doing something weird or something else? Maybe even like an intentional beacon. Okay, let's unpack this. Yeah, that precision is the first big red flag. I mean, astronomers log this while just scanning the galaxy. Standard procedure. They see a pulse. Silence. Then, bang, 22 minutes later, another identical pulse. And not just once or twice. No, no. This has been going on, they say, over and over. For months. That consistency is, well, it's almost too perfect, like a metronome. Okay, and that consistency throws us right into this scientific paradox, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Because we do know things that pulse out there, pulsars. Right, pulsars are the usual suspects. They're spinning neutron stars, super dense remnants from massive stars that went supernova. So it's cosmic lighthouses, basically. Exactly, their beams sweep past us. But because they're spinning incredibly fast, powered by intense gravity and rotation. They flash really quickly, seconds or even faster. Yeah, milliseconds, yeah. So 22 minutes is just, it's astronomically slow in comparison. But hang on, don't they slow down over time, billions of years? Yeah. Couldn't one eventually just, you know, drift down to a 22-minute spin? Uh, that's the core problem. It's where the physics just doesn't add up. We're not talking about a gentle slowdown here. When you get that slow 22 minutes for something as massive and compact as a neutron star, you run into what scientists call the gravitational wall. Okay, explain the gravitational wall. Why is 22 minutes, like... A death sentence. Okay, think about spinning pizza dough, right? Mm. To keep it flat, you spin it fast. The outward force, the centrifugal force, balances gravity pulling it inwards. Right, keeps it from just blobbing up. Exactly. Now, slow that spin way, way down. The outward force vanishes. The dough collapses under its own weight. Got it. Now, imagine that with a neutron star. We're talking maybe twice the mass of our sun packed into a space, maybe what, 12 miles across, the gravity is immense. Unbelievably dense. So if it slows down to a 22-minute rotation, there's basically no outward force left. It should collapse instantly into a black hole. Or at the very least, it shouldn't have the structure needed to generate these magnetic fields and energy bursts anymore. So that's the central question. The sources keep hammering home, right? If physics says this thing should be long gone at this speed, how is it still there? How is it stable enough to keep pulsing? It makes you wonder. It really forces us to question what we thought we knew about these stellar remnants. I mean, scientists tried. Of course, they thought, okay, maybe it's a really, really old neutron star, maybe highly magnetized, something exotic. So defeated in a known box. Exactly. But even those early sort of more natural ideas, they just fell short. And it wasn't just the slow spin that didn't fit, was it? It was the signal itself. Even if something stopped it collapsing, why would an ancient dying object send out such a, well, clean pulse? That's the other kicker. An object that old, that slow, should have lost almost all its energy. Its magnetic field, which kind of channels the signal, it would have decayed massively. So you'd expect static, messy bursts. Yeah, chaotic signals, sporadic, lots of scatter, frequency drift. But this signal, it's the opposite. Stable, consistent, strong enough to travel across who knows how many light years. It's just too neat too well behaved for something natural that's supposed to be on its last legs. So if the physics says no way, we have to start looking outside the standard playbook. Mm. And that brings us to the competing ideas. This is where it gets really interesting. And speculative, sure, but based on what they're seeing. Okay, so hypothesis A tries to keep things you know, natural. Maybe it's a totally new kind of star we haven't even theorized properly yet, like an extreme magnetar or maybe a white dwarf pulsar, though those usually aren't this energetic. So something undiscovered, but still following some natural laws we haven't figured out. Possibly. We have to keep that door open. The universe is full of surprises. But the harder it is to make that natural explanation work, the more you look at hypothesis B the artificial hypothesis. And this is where the structure of the signal becomes really compelling. Some researchers, the closest say, are quietly admitting it looks eerily structured. 
meaning? Well, when signals travel light years through space, they interact with dust and gas. This usually causes dispersion or scattering. The signal gets smeared out across frequencies. It's a classic sign of a natural source. Like listening to a radio station fading in and out through static. Pretty much. But this 22-minute pulse, uh. it's surprisingly narrow in frequency. It doesn't show that typical scattering. It's not just random noise peaking rhythmically. It behaves, as they put it, like a repeating transmission, almost intentional. Okay, and if you think about SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. If you wanted to get noticed across the galaxy. You wouldn't send static. No, you'd send something impossible, no. something unnatural, something that breaks the known rules. So any civilization advanced enough to be looking would stop and say, whoa, wait a minute. It's the perfect cosmic, hey, look over here, sign. Design a signal that physics, as we understand it, says shouldn't exist. Too perfect, too stable, too slow for a star but maybe simple for a machine. Exactly. Maybe a massive, durable beacon. That 22-minute period might not be a clock. Maybe it's just the time it takes for some giant energy collector to charge up and then transmit. Duty cycle. Wow. Okay, so we've got this impossibly slow, strangely clean signal. But then there's a twist, a really crucial one. The sources say the signal it's fading. Yeah, that adds a whole new layer. It's weakening over time. We're not just observing something static. We're watching something expire. And this fading, it splits the interpretation right down the middle, doesn't it? It really does. On one hand, it could support the dying star idea. How so? Well, whatever is transmitting is literally running out of juice. Hmm. The pulse is the final sputter of some bizarre stellar engine that somehow defied gravity, but it's finally giving up. A natural death, however weird. Okay, interpretation one, natural end. Interpretation two supports the artificial idea. Whatever is transmitting is powering down. Like a machine running out of battery? Essentially, the beacon, the device, whatever it is, has reached the end of its operational life, or maybe its fuel source is depleted. So if we connect this to the bigger picture, yeah. either way, star or machine, we're basically watching the end of something extraordinary, right? This isn't a signal that's just going to keep pulsing forever. Correct. It's a temporary window. We're catching the final act which makes the observations incredibly urgent for astronomers. That signal, that data, it could just vanish soon, months, maybe years. It adds this layer of, like, cosmic drama. Are we seeing the last flickers of an impossible star or the final broadcast from some ancient, maybe long-gone technology? The weakening is data, but it's also a deadline ticking down. So what does this all mean? Let's recap. We have a signal, too clean for nature, too slow for physics, and now it's fading out. The dilemma is stark. Is it some exotic star breaking all the rules as it dies? Or is it an engineered message, a final transmission from something or someone that didn't want to be forgotten? Which leaves us with this final thought, and it's a bit of a mind bender for you to chew on. If, and it's a big if, this is engineered. Think about the irony. A signal designed to shout advanced technology, so impossible it gets attention across the galaxy. But it's now failing because of the most basic problem. It's running out of power. Yeah. What kind of engineering, what level of mastery would it take to build something that could broadcast like that? So stable, so powerful for so long across galactic distances, only for its battery to finally die. It almost tells its own story, doesn't it? About massive ambition and maybe ultimate limits, even for whoever built it. A profound thought. We'll definitely keep watching the skies on this one.